Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're going to solve this problem, the integral, the antiderivative of the absolute value of x dx. And this is a little bit tricky because if you know anything about the absolute value function, it's not differentiable at zero. It has that pointy edge, that cusp, if you will, that makes it not differentiable at zero. But we can actually antiderive it just fine. And we'll do it by writing the absolute value in terms of its piecewise definition. The absolute value of x, what is it really? Well, it's simply x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's minus x if x is less than zero. That gives it its v shape where it's a positively sloped line after zero, a negatively sloped line before zero, and what makes any input output to be a positive value. You think the absolute value of five is five, the absolute value of negative five is five. So how do we actually integrate this? Well, we'll just integrate the pieces. So if I want to anti-derive this, it's exactly the same. And I don't know if this is very good notation or not, but I'm just gonna kind of put this in piecewise notation here and just sort of integrate um, the individual pieces. Again, I'm probably, I'm probably abusing some notation here, but I think, I think we'll be okay. We'll get the idea down. And all we have to do is anti-derive each individual piece on its respective domain. And so what's the antiderivative of x dx? Well, it's x squared over two, plus c, of course. We're doing antiderivatives, and this is for x greater than or equal to zero. And same deal for minus x, add one to the power, divide by the new power. I need plus c. Again, maybe I'm slightly abusing the notation here using two c's, but I think we're okay, you'll get the idea. And that's if x is less than zero. And hey, there we go. We found the antiderivative of the absolute value of x. We just had to split it up using its piecewise definition. Now I would encourage you to click the video on the screen so you can watch the next video. I'll see you in that one. 